Welcome everybody to 7 Days to Die Alpha 19 Beginner's Guide. Today's episode we're covering how to start a new world, how to create a new character and how to get going. So stay tuned. So you've just bought 7 Days to Die and you wanted some tips and hints in how you're going to be playing it. Well, this is what this guide is for. So let's get straight into it. So you've launched the game, you're in the main menu. Whoa, whoa, before you jump the uh, jump the gun here, let's get into these options, and there are quite a few. Now, you've got new game, which obviously will start a new game, but we don't want to do that just yet. Continue game is where you go when you want to continue playing your game. Join the game is if you want to join a server. Editing tools, we're not covering in this episode. They are advanced tools. We'll cover it in the technical side. That's another series that is upcoming. And then we've got our options and credits. Credits tells you who made the game, which is the fun pips. So we're going to go to options first. And now if we click on it. We're going to go to our video options first and click that. So these are my current settings. So we've got my resolution, which is 2560 by 1440 at a ratio of 16 by 9. We want full screen dynamic resolution mode. Now how this works. Currently it's all for me because I don't think I need it. Once the game detects, if you've got this on, once the game detects that your game is getting slow and not running great, it'll actually drop your game's resolution down to increase your frame rate. Now, Simulator that I is a heavy game on your system for a lot of technical reasons. Um, it's the way the world is built, and there's not much they can do about that at this point. But that's neither here nor there. So apparently, I'm not going to worry about it. If I had to turn it on, uh, so one, I, once I got to 30 frames a second, the game would stop dropping my resolution down until it increased past 30 frames a second. But as I said, don't need that currently. VSync syncs your frame rate to your refresh rate of your monitor. So your game's frame rate and your monitor's refresh rate. So your mo my monitor currently is 75 hertz. So the game will uh, try and run it at 75 hertz to stop screen tearing and that kind of thing. My field of view is currently 85, which is the max. Default field of view, you can see it there, is 65. So I'm going to run it at 85 because that's my setting. That's what I prefer. Quality. Now here, when you launch the game, it'll come on as medium. Now, depending on what kind of computer you have, if you've got a Core i9, 1900K or an AMD 3950X and a 2080 Ti, you're going to go for the ultra settings off the bat you don't need to worry about this on medium you can go higher but if you've got a core i3 or an amd uh, uh, 3600 or something smaller than that you're gonna have to play with a couple of these settings to get better frame rates so for me if you've got a low-end system i would turn anti-aliasing off i would turn shadows off and reflected shadows i would also turn off uh, for me personally i don't like motion blur so that automatically goes off and depth of field for me also goes off i just don't like the effect that those options give you now the rest of these you're going to have to play with and see what gives you the best uh, performance but if you need help with that comment down below and i'll be more than happy to help you out if i can please do click the thumbs up button like the video and do share it far and wide okay so these options we're going to i'm going to go straight to ultra uh, there we go so ultra i will see what i can run what i tend to do is i put it to the max and then i drop my settings down until i find what's playable for me i don't have a monster of a system i've got an amd 3600 uh, 2070 super so uh, and 16 gigs of ram that's my computer i don't have a super computer so motion blur off depth of field off other than that, I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be okay, but we shall see. I think I'm going to be dropping uh, one or two settings here. Now that we've done that, now we're going to start a new game. The last part that we need to cover here is your player profile. So this is how you, your character and you're going to play in the game. So these characters down this left-hand column are characters that are pre-built by the fun pump so there's a whole bunch of them we've got Arden, we've got clint so that's obviously a homage to clint eastwood that is mad mole and i wonder there's richie so there's a whole bunch of different ones uh depending on what you want to play so we're going to create a new one for myself 
I deleted my just for you guys. So I'm going to call it that and then I'm going to click create. So you can be male or female. Uh, hairstyle, I'm just going to leave it as base, but you can see there's quite a few. Now, these models are not that great, but I am not too concerned about it because they are busy working on replacing them that will come in Alpha 20 or after that. As I said, I am not too worried about it. Eyebrows are, I can't see my eyebrows, I'm not going to worry about it. Facial hair, don't want any facial hair. Skin, you want to be a red man, do you want to be a teal man you can you know you can go absolutely crazy with your skin color do you want to be a blue man black man a purple man whatever you want so i'm just going to do what i am something as long those now but if you want you can click on randomize so you can be pretty much anything if you would want to be so i think i will use that that works for me and ooh, you need some muscles there. You, you're surviving hard. So we'll just fill him out a bit there. So you can change all these values, but um, I, I don't I don't see the, the point of it because you'll never see your character again um, unless you die. So customize this how you see fit. Play with the options, see what you want. Left click moves your character around and then you can zoom in using uh, your mouse wheel and then right click to rotate so that's pretty much what I look like currently and you can toggle your clothes off so if you want to see what you look as in your shorts well there we go so I'm gonna click apply so that's my character and then I'm gonna select it and click OK now we're gonna get into creating a new world you're gonna come into the game you're going to see your, ha your hands right in front of your eyes. Dear friend, the wasteland can be an unforgiving place. I found you naked and left for dead with no supplies. It looks like you crossed the duke in a bad way and you could use some help. Enclosed is a short guide to help you survive. If you complete it, you might just take in a new citizen. The White River Settlement. It's real and it's safe. Peace be with you, friend. Noah. So there are two protagonists in the game, the duke and the Noah. They are not... They are rendered, but you can't interact with them or find them in the game yet. They're only coming in Alpha 20, but let's get started. So, it's going to give you quest tracking. So, basic survival is your active quest. The quest status is displayed on the objective track on the top right. So, there you go, objective tracker of your screen. For more information on the quest, access your inventory and navigate to the quests menu. So, uh, <laughs> gather 10 plant fibers. So, these are plant fibers. So, to collect them, you just left click to punch them. So, we're going to gather a couple of them. Then you're going to see these brand twig bush things. Punch those as well because you want to get them for the wood. Those give you wood. You can see your bottom right of your screen, you're getting the icons. So, just keep going. You want more than the, what they say because you're going to need more than 10 uh, plant fiber. So just keep going. Then you're going to see these these guys, small stones. Collect them when you see them. Tree stumps. Uh, when you get an axe or something, you can get a chance of harvesting honey from them. And harv honey can cure infection. There's another small stone. So we're just going to keep going. Oh, there's some more wood. All right, that should be sufficient for now. Now I'm going to press uh, tab and that brings up this menu. So this shows us the exclamation mark here, shows us what quest we're on. So I'm going to click on it so to craft it. I can either click there or I can press W on my keyboard. All right, so it's going to take 10 seconds. You can see it down here to craft that um, bedroll. The bedroll acts as your save point in the game. All right, so we've got our bedroll. I'm going to move it down to my hotbar. These base keys down here on my hotbar. This down here is my uh, food, and that's my water down there. That's my stamina, the blue one, and the red one is obviously my health. So now we're going to take our bedroll. Oh, this game is seriously pretty now. All right, so you see this little icon here that shows you where your base is or your bedroll is so that is your safe point so if i have to get killed by a zombie currently this is where i would spawn okay 
So now we want a stone axe. Now we want a couple of small stones. You can see they're all over the place. So just hit E to pick them up. That one you can't obviously pick up, that's too big. It's a bit more sticks there. All right, so now we're going to see the yellow icon again. Hit W to craft it. It's gonna take you three seconds to craft. And hold down Shift, left click. And then it will put it down in your hot bar. These ones I'm just going to do the same, but I'm gonna put them back into uh, my uh, inventory. That's what I told you to collect more plants uh, or fiber. So now we're going to go, we want the plant fiber pants. So W and the shirt W. You can make more. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go fiber. I want the hat. And I want the shoes. And I want the gloves. Okay. So now to wear all of this. Just hit W on it, click left click and hit W. All right, now in your menu, you're gonna see a whole bunch of icons. So let's go through them one by one. You got your character, so that's what me, that's what I look like now currently. Like I can take my shirt off and there's my sculpted eight pack. Okay, those are all the different gears and armor and stuff you can wear. That's my level, I'm level one. My current stats, so my health, my food, stamina, water, how cold or hot it is, uh, zombie kills, player kills, deaths, how far I've traveled, so I've traveled 90 meters, items crafted, how many items I've made in the game, this life, and current life, and XP to next level, so 10,761. My map, so this is where I am in the world, if I use my mouse wheel, I can zoom out, and you can see it is quite extensive. So it tells me it's day one and the time, fit temperature, wind and elevation. And those are my map coordinates. You can see where I am on the map. Now here's your waypoints. Those are shared waypoints, shared waypoints you use in multiplayer. And so if I right click on the map anywhere, I can go to a quick waypoint, put that little red flag down. Now if I go out of here and so that, if I follow that flag, it'll take me to that waypoint. Um, but I don't need to go there right now. Let's carry on going. So skills, skills and perks. This is where you select them. I'm not covering them in this video. They will be in video three. In video two, we are covering um, quests. Sorry, we're covering quests. Okay. Then you go to here, click on quests. So we'll cover all of these as a, we'll do these complete. And then your journal. So your journal is where you can read up on all the different things. You see, we've already got a lot of entry, uh, entries. So these will tell you like your bedroll, and your water and this kind of stuff. This is your players. So if you've got other players on your server, what level, game stage, if you're party allies, all this kind of stuff. If you multiply, this is where you go for it. Now it wants us to make a wooden club. So again, you need W to make that. All right, so that is our wooden club. Now that we've got our stone axe, we're gonna go beat on this rock quickly because we want a couple more stones. So as you get better in seven days to die, you can put more points into it. You can make better weapons and you can make better tools as well. And you can gather more items quicker. As you get past like level 20 or so, you'll be able to like smash this rock basically in one or two hits with the right tools. Same with this tree. So I'm getting a little bit of wood, not a whole bunch. So we need to find some feathers. Now, feathers you will get out of a bird's nest. Now, in the forest biome that I'm in now, whenever you start Navis game, you will start in the forest biome. It's one of the... Th ah, there we go. Um, one of the things they've... Ooh, nice, five. They've put into the game to make it a little bit easier for new players is this. You will start in a forest biome and you will be pretty safe. There won't be anything hostile near you. They will come eat your face. There's more than just zombies in this game. There's wolves and bears and dogs and coyotes and snakes and vultures. So you've got to keep an eye out from them as well. All right, so we need to now make a bow. So again, I'm going to make that and arrows. So we're going to make five of those because I've only got five feathers. So going to do that. 
but what I want to do so take if you click on that and I'm gonna favorite it see the little star quits there and the same with the wood frame block because you use these all the time I'm gonna favorite that as well now it wants us to make that one of those so your wood frame block is one of the it is literally the foundation block of everything in seven days to die so I'm gonna take this one foundation frame block and I'm gonna put it down so I can also hit E to pick it up again. Ooh, you see there? That's a little rabbit down there. I'm not going to go after it now because it will outrun me. It is a lot faster than I am. Ooh, another rock. So I'm going to put down the frame. Oh, before I put down the frame, if you hold down and press your R key, it will bring down this menu. So simple sh rotation, advanced rotation. If you want to rotate it on its face or copy rotation from another block, or if you click on here, your shape block, this is something they're putting in Alpha 18. Are all the different shapes you can make, all the different items you can make out of that wooden frame. So we're just going to leave it on the default wooden frame for now. When we get to the building uh, section of the beginner's guide, we'll cover this a bit more in depth. All right, so for now, we're going to put it down. We're going to take our, our axe and right click to upgrade. All right, so there we go. We can upgrade it at once. Now, if we hold on, right click, we upgrade it again to make it better, to make it stronger. Now, I make a campfire. It's the same thing again. We're going to craft the campfire. And now we're going to take our campfire and put it down there. All right. Now, okay, good job, citizen. You have provided, proved to be capable with much potential. We have marked your location with the nearest White River outpost location. There you'll find a trader we can buy and sell goods and trade stories with only your friendly citizens. Welcome aboard, Noah. All right, so to use the campfire is E. Then to use these things properly, you need a cooking pot, which you can either make or get in loot, but you need a forge for that. So you'll generally get your first cooking pot looting buildings. A grill, so if you want to grill a better meat and not burn it. And a beaker, if you want to make uh, some of the advanced chemistry stuff that's in here. All right, so that's pretty much it for this beginner's guide, guys. Uh, I'm just going to look for another bird's nest and see what's in this area very quickly. Ah, that's what I meant. All right, so that's the campfire. Now we've looked around, and that is where the trader is. So we would run a kilometer that way to get to the trader. So we'll start running that way. Just to give you an indication, oh, there's another bird's nest. Bird's nest will either give you eggs and feathers, or nothing at all depends what's there so if you hold on shift you will run faster that is sprint uh, but it does drain your stamina faster so it will also drain your food you'll see my food and water going down on my HUD icon so you got to keep an eye on those as well and because I'm brand new and I'm level one I'm picking up every rock cotton chrysanthemum so you got there chrysanthemum you can collect those as well they will be useful at a later stage so you can collect them if you so choose Ooh, hello. Okay, I have got nothing to try and kill this guy with. He will just run away from me. But here's a backpack, so we're going to loot this. Nice. All right, so I'm going to wear that. And that one I'm going to keep because I can sell that to the trader. So that was a buck. Now, the buck, you can kill him and you can skin him for meat and, and leather and bones and, and animal fat. But you can see I don't have anything to kill him with. But I do, I lie. Sorry. I've got my bow and arrow. That's the end of the first episode of Beginner's Guide. Next episode, we're dealing with the trader. And then the episode of that, we're going to deal with the perk system. So stay tuned for that. If you like what I'm doing, please give the video two thumbs up. Share it far and wide. And please do subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And have a great day. See you now.